I wanted to make a quick video uh, to show you how you can um, transfer some information from one EWS into another. Uh, this situation kind of uh, is not your normal situation, but a customer's EWS ended up dying after performing some key work. Luckily, and I stress luckily, we had saved the um, EEPROM file that we read off of the EWS. So this is the original one that died. This was the packaging. It is a 4.4. Because we saved it, we were able to run off to the salvage yard and luckily we found another 4.4. We also picked up a 4.3, but I believe any versions in the 4.0 would work. So we've made our connections all this is the salvage yarn unit connected to the hotel the IM and this is where you would find how to connect it in this diagram once you've made the connections you want to hit read and if it can read and pull the info off the chip then you've made good connections And I've set it up to where it reads it twice in order to do, to make sure that uh, it pulls the same information correctly. So there is information off the junkyard EWS. I particularly won't need this. I have um, files from that one already. So being that we can read it and we look for the correct file. EEPROM file from Mr. John Starr. Hit OK. And it will write the EEPROM info, which is where all the mobilizer related information is, meaning the key and the VIN numbers and stuff like that. So it was written, it double checked itself, and we got the success. So now all we do is take this off, put it in its case, put it back in the vehicle, and get the car running. Okay, so we're out at the vehicle. The EWS, I've got it plugged in. It's just hanging. But uh, I got the key, the original one that came with, with the vehicle. So vehicle starts, uh, again it should, it's all the original EEPROM immobilizer information that is now transferred into a donor, cloned into that so the vehicle knows no different and it'll start and run as normal now.